Verizon Wireless is today rumored to start offering in-home cellular-based stations, known as femtocells. Using the same technology as rival Sprint and Nextel, Verizon will brand the home-based stations, which provide coverage of up to 5,000 square feet as wireless network extender. Currently, Sprint offers unlimited calling over femtocells, and even T-Mobile has an in-home signal booster. So that leaves only AT&T without a femtocell on the market. So why should consumers flock to femtocells? Femtocell is really a home base station. Uh, you can think of it as taking all that complex radio infrastructure, shrinking it down into a small box, and making it available for the home. What it does for a consumer effectively is it gives them uh, all the bandwidth they need uh, dedicated to them. So it means that you're not out and about in the macro cell environment sharing uh, that same spectrum with all these other users. You have this dedicated to yourself at home. So first and foremost, great coverage in the home. Secondly, you've got all the capacity that you need. As femtocells gain momentum in the U.S. market, Ericom's Ricky Watts believes the technology will not only be a home solution, but will enable the distribution of LTE. I believe the femtocell technology, as it is, is something that's very interesting. How do you take that concept of small cells and get them out there? So there are many routes to femtocell in terms of, I'm not looking at it as a, hey, we're going to go and buy one and put it in the house, but potentially there are femtocell technology that will aid in the distribution of LTE. You know, almost like a central base station with remotely distributed uh, access points that are kind of in that femtocell context.